Alrighty, so today on this workbench of fun, we're going to take a look inside the Master Lock, Combo Lock 175. Now this is a cheaply designed, easily messed with piece of junk, but uh, for the hell of it, we're going to take a gander at it uh, as I'm grabbing some uh, tools here. I'm going to grab a uh, couple of my little probies I got. Thank you, Sparrow's Lock Picks. Alright, so, the Master Lock, model number, come on there, 175. If you've watched enough YouTube videos on these things, you know they are bypassable. You shove a thin piece of uh, something in between the dial, push up on the side detent, and it pops open. Well, we're going to take a look today at what this is all about. And I've taken my trusty cutoff wheel and de-shelled this piece of garbage <laughs> it is a piece of garbage uh, let me get a screwdriver here now I'm doing this one handed sorry I got to hold the camera or something so maybe one of these days I'll get like a selfie tripod or some crap or another um, I'm going to try to pry this other piece of the shell off here Okay, you suck. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to set something up here to hold this because I can't seem to hold it my damn self. Right, so, get my fingers in here. I'm gonna just stick my screwdriver in this side here. Give it a couple of twists. Nice prying motion. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, so what they did was they put a little pin on the inside of that guy. And now that that's out, here comes the rest of the uh, <laughs> ass in. There's a, uh, some of the locking paws made out of, uh, appears to be brass. Alright, so i got the phone here. Let's see here. So this is our combo set. Now... <laughs> There's the locking part. Okay, so here's the locking paws. These are, uh, appear to be machined out of brass. The case of this thing is made out of aluminum. Or zinc slash aluminum. So, like a torch attack might work to uh, dissolve the damn thing. Uh, the dials are right there. And when you put the combo in right, it actually releases this bar here. And then that releases the paws. Allows them to move. Alright, so let me see here. <laughs> Kinda try to set something up here just so the camera can sit up tight or upright so that I don't have to continuously hold it. Puddle of uh some kind of lovely substance. Yeah, but my Okay, so I'm going to try to do this looking through the camera lens. There's the bottom uh, cover. It's a brass cover plate. <laughs> okay. I need to get a bit more creative here with the camera. <laughs> this is not working. Not working! Get you guys high enough to see as you're going to see down the side of that. All right. Sorry, my, my jar stand is just going to have to do, uh, <laughs> that way the phone can uh, do what it needs to do. Okay, so we got a little cover plate on the bottom. Let's pluck that guy off. Put our little pair of pliers here. I'm going to try to understand how this works. Now, generally, you put all the numbers in the correct sequence and they line up a bar, which releases things. Okay, so, brass cover shield. <laughs> this is a zinc aluminum body. So here are the wheels. Now, I thought about doing some kind of attack on this to see if I can get the combo... My problem was, was that my lever here kept dropping into this big groove here. 
which unfortunately leads you to believe that you have one hell of a gate there, but you really don't because your gate is actually this little one right here. I don't know if you can see that. So it gives you one heck of a false gate. So let's see for shits and giggles here. Let's get all these combos lined up. There's the gate. There's the gate on that one. Well, I'll see my wheels kind of moving here. And then, very last one, there's the gate on that. So let's rotate them in. Two clicks. Has this guy open? Yep, it does. It opens all the way right there. Alright, so you get two clicks in, and the gate opens up, and this whole paw now becomes motioned into there. Alright, so, and these are the resettable kind. You can take, they usually come with a little key, you can press in the plunger bar, and that will move the, the inner uh, key wheels away from the number wheels. Alright, so let's pluck this guy out of here. Uh, who cares about a spring? You're not being used ever again. <laughs> okay, so Master Lock put a little spring on this guy. Try to get that spring out of there. There we go. Yet again, this is also made out of zinc. Now, the uh, shimming attack, if nobody's seen that, is come in through this plate on the side of one of these wheels and what you're doing is you're taking this this shim and going up and depressing this thing out of the way and then that's allowing you to pop the lock open uh, it works for the most part <laughs> that's I got this one open a few times that way but I was trying to decode it and it just didn't work so I decided we'll pull it apart all right so we got the wheels and we got the bar that lines the wheels in can I take that bar out or is that bar going to stay I think it's going to stay I may just have to cut it I'm trying to decipher here but it looks like that uh, that might give us an issue not sure yet See, I see a bushing right here. Slight bushing. Trying to decipher. Let me see if I can plug that out with my little pliers. Now, they press these things together with such shitty tolerances that it's almost stupid how these damn things even work in the first place because they're so bad at what they do. And then again, it's a master lock. What do you expect? If you want a better quality lock, you buy something else. All right, well, we've already I've already destroyed this lock, so let me see if I got a pair of cutters. I don't have one handy right now, so what I'm gonna probably do is just take these pliers, break off that nose right there. See how nice this aluminum is? I mean, you could about destroy one of these locks with just a pair of pliers. <laughs> these are not meant to be the most secure. Let's just say that much. All right, so there's our wheel assembly all out. The rest of this body is all die cast aluminum slash zinc. And there's a little spring deal here just for the levers. And that uh, appears to be manufactured out of some kind of material, maybe copper. And then the rest of this whole body, which is, that's it, just the body, is, is cast. Alright, so, when you do the reset, what you're doing is you're moving the inner wheels off of these wheels. You see how that moves that little, this wheel right here? Granted, this one's not moving so well anymore. Uh, but when you do the reset, what you're doing is you're pushing 
that away from there and then you can set your combination again. Okay, it's the this 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 side. <laughs> you can set your combination again and then lock it back in. This is how these are become resettable. Um yeah, and see the little gears right there. And then on the uh on the actual key wheel, as I'm going to call it, I don't know what the name of the stupid thing is, but key wheel, there's a tooth there and a tooth right there. Well, <laughs> hey guys, pretty much it. Uh, I'm not sure what else to put on this, so <laughs> thanks for tuning in and watching this 10 minute long video of me uh, taking apart a Master Lock 175 and showing you what's inside, or at least the guts. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe.